Hello YouTube, this is the 12th video in our JavaScript from Canvas Minesweeper game development tutorial series. This video we're going to be um, fixing up our right clicking uh, function here and we're going to be adding a uh, win function. So first things first, we'll get um, this sorted out. In the last tutorial we added on this right clicked button and in this loop, this for loop here, we're checking to see if um, that button's already been clicked or if that box has already been clicked by a right um, right click and we use I wrote N by accident instead of I because I had copy and pasted it. Um, secondly, we need to add something to the um, regular click to check if it's been right clicked and if it's been right clicked then um, we need to make sure that it doesn't get um, clicked on top of that that you can't just click it um, for example there you can just click that which actually could be fine I guess we can just leave that Uh, okay, so this let's let's test if that update we made works. Okay, so now it removes the right one. So if I right click on this one, it should remove it. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's move on to our win function. And we'll make sure it's being called at the right time. Um, we're just gonna do something as simple as alert you won. I don't really need much more than that, but it may be we may be having issues with when it's getting called. So um, we're gonna try to figure that out. Okay. Okay. Um, so that didn't work like it was supposed to. Um, it only functioned when it was clicked on the regular, on a left click. So... Here's our on-click function. Um, we will let's see log out total click.
Okay, I think our problem is that we should be actually checking if the length of right clicked BS um, is less than 10. And every time we get something like this, where we have a click and then we click over it, if we have a black square and we click over it, it doesn't take it out of the array. It doesn't remove it from our clicked BS. Um, so when we do that, we need to start taking it out of our clicked BS. And we'll, we're going to do that inside the click pass function. Um, Basically, we're going to loop through for i in. Actually, we're going to do k in r clicked bs if um, r clicked bs k zero is equal to x and r clicked bs. K one is equal to Y, then R clicked BS dot splice K one. To write console log here. Sounds right. That's weird that that three is counting three around it. Two is counting two around it. Okay, so um, we also, it looks like if you click something twice, it adds it to the array, the clicked BS array twice, um, which we need to keep it from doing. We can do that right here.
um, if clicked hopefully you know what I'm doing at this point since we've done this multiple times but if not I'm checking to see if the X and Y value of the check is already in clicked bombs should solve our problem. Looks like it does. Okay, so let's just finish this up. short. Um, we'll try it one more time. I'm guessing it's going to be one short every time. We'll call that good enough. That kind of the point of the video isn't really to get that fully functioning, but um, okay. Um, in the next video, we're going to be working with the lose function. If the user basically clicks on the location of a bomb, then we're going to call a lose function. It'll be very simple, uh, and then we'll be pretty much done with the series. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.